I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 312, where I'm going to show you how to forecast across entities with the same proportion as actuals. This is in response to a message sent to me via uh, QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com from Ankit. And he has a model that he needs some help with. And it actually made my day to hear from Ankit because he asked me a Quantrix question. And I would really hope that you would want to make my day and that you would ask me a Quantrix question as well. But anyway, Ankit has a basic model here. And what he has is he has some data. And it is by category A and by category B. And category A is defined across these entities, MIS Unit 1 and 2. And category B, its items are defined across these entities of BG1 or BG2. And then over here in a summary matrix, Onkit's been able to go ahead and simply do kind of a, a summary of this actual data here with a basic using as where he's linking items to categories. It's really quite beautiful. What I've done is I've just added some color coding to help me see where the data should be lining up. So if I look at MIS Unit 1, that should go from A1 to A4. And then if I look at BG1, that should go from B1 all the way through B6. So again, I've highlighted that kind of in this purple color. If I were to sum that, I would get 5593. And again, that's what I see here. If I were to look at my mappings again, I would see that these green cells really map up to what is found here in this BG2 MIS Unit 2, which totals 1966. And indeed, that's what I'm getting here. So it looks like it's working the way it should. So what Ankit would like to now do is he would like to take this forecast and he would like to apply uh, the proportion of each of these cells to the total to this total forecasted value here. So how do you do that in Quantrix Modeler? So what I would suggest doing is going out here to data and copying it and pasting it. I'm going to bring it down here. This is data two now that we're going to be working with. And I would like to just rename category N. I'm going to call it actual or forecast just for clarity. And then I'm going to take this and add it to this data two matrix. And with that, I'm also going to add another category and I'm going to rename it metrics. And I'm going to call this item the value, values, and then I want to create one that is called percent of total. And I would like to rearrange these so they're actuals on this side, forecast on this side, and then all my values together versus my percent of total is also together. Now, in order to calculate my percent of total in forecast, I would say in forecast, percent of total is equal to my values divided by my summary cells, what I'm finding in there. But I want to make sure that I'm able to link these items here, you know, to the items found in category A and category B. So again, this is a category. These BG1 and BG2, they're categories. Well, they belong to the category I, and they are also listed over here as being defined by category B. I'm going to create a link just like you did with actuals, but I'm going to do that uh, over here. And I would do that simply by using a using as. And I'm going to take using uh, BG, these items, as this category here. Okay, And then I would say this item here, over here, and these category A, L1, as these items here. So in theory, uh, to maybe add some clarity here, I could call these BGs here, and then I could call these MIS units up here. And that might help me in my identification of my items and categories. Okay, so now uh, what I would see here is I would see, hopefully I would see my percent of total. And I think I said in forecast, I would probably say in actual, actually. Actually, that's what I would say. And then if I go ahead and I sum all my purple cells, because again, they should be mapped and they should, this should total one. And indeed it does. If I look at, say, my green cells, these should all sum to one, because again, we're just taking a percent 
this as a percent of the total of 1966, okay? So if I were to sum all of these, I would expect to see four because I have kind of four different <clears throat> combinations. I have a two by two matrix. So now what uh, we'd like to do, what Ankit would like to do is he would like to take this forecast and apply this percent and get the forecasted values. So in order to make this happen, we would simply go uh, values, I would say in forecast, forecast, sorry, values is equal to the summary over here multiplied by the actual uh, percent of fork percent of total. And then I would like to add a using as here, where again, I'm taking my items here as my category here of BGs. And again, my items here as a category here of MIS units. So if I go ahead and do that, and I were to perform, perform then a sum on this, I would see 720. If I were to perform a sum on this, I would expect to see 2,500. And indeed, that is what I see. So if I were to change this to say 8,000, it goes ahead and gives me 8,000. But what is allocated to this combination of A1 and B1 is the same proportion or the same percent as what I am actually what I have for actuals. So that's how I would do it uh, with a, a basic using as, uh, very similar to what you've done over here when you're summing your actuals. And the beauty about this is, is if I were to add more category A's or if I were to change some of these mappings, uh, Quantrix would update for me automatically. I don't have to worry about copying down formulas or anything like that. It just works beautifully, really enables scale and complexity. I absolutely love this uh, Quantrix. I absolutely love the question that uh, Ankit sent in to me. And I really do hope that uh, if you have any questions, that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com and ask me any of your questions about Quantrix because I do love this tool and I want to make you a Quantrix master. So I hope that you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by... QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.